So we're starting out this adventure in uh, Eastern Tennessee. This is maybe an hour and a half, uh, probably not not quite two hours from Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, this sculpture here is called the Old Hand. It's holding a, a, a molecule, I believe it's a methanol molecule. It's supposed to be. This is outside the Eastman uh, Chemical Company building here at this plaza. Um, it started in the 1920s, and then this was uh, put in in 2020 to celebrate their 100th uh, anniversary. Pretty cool uh, sculpture here just outside of the, uh, I don't know if this is their main office building. I don't know enough about the the company itself, but uh, uh, it's just a cool sculpture, cool, cool random sculpture, but stopped off to check it out, and we'll head on out from here and see a few other things before we get to uh, our final destination for the day. From here, we're going to leave and go check out another sculpture. This next one is going to be uh, one of many, uh, but it's the only one I've seen in this lineup, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a, the Whispering Giants is what these are called, and they're uh, Native American sculptures. This one is supposed to be uh, Junaluska, Junaluska. Uh, right here it is. So it, uh, these are carved out of wood. There's Originally, the, the plan was to have one in, in every... Uh, state i think there has been one in every state though some of them have, have been damaged and destroyed over the years uh, they're, they're all carved out of wood so some of them just haven't held up and haven't lasted um and there's a few in some other countries i believe but he the the uh the artist peter toth he actually came back in 2018 and repaired this one so the first time i was here it still looked good but it uh it didn't look quite as bright uh, i think it's been painted since then and some of the feathers on the on the headdress there have been added back in. There weren't as many feathers last time. There's a big crack down the front there too that's been repaired since I was here last. So this is the only one I've been to. I need to definitely get to some more. There's not all of them are left these days, but there's still most of them out there um, in uh, in the different states. We're going to head on to the, the main point of interest that I want to check out today. It's one of my favorite things I've been to several times. It's uh, not quite an hour south of Knoxville, Tennessee. It's the, the Fortress of Faith or uh, Greenback Castle. So on the way to it, I actually saw a guy walk and I recognized him. It's Junior Banks, the guy who actually created the castle. He's been building it for years. Um, so I picked him up and he was actually walking to the castle. So I gave him a ride uh, on up to the castle. So... We got to hear a lot of good story from Junior, um, telling us different things, what's going on. So it's a real, real interesting place. It's, it's strange, a lot of weird stuff here, uh, but really, really cool, worth checking out. So uh, never been here before when Junior was here. I so finally, finally got to meet him, and uh, it was real cool getting to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see no more missing now. Yeah. So Junior had been building this for years already, and then uh, he just kind of started to impress people, uh, say it was cool cool to have a castle. But uh, in 2003, uh, he, he kind of got a change of, of ideals there, and uh, uh, he says God took over there in 2003, so that's when it became the Fortress of Faith. Um, he sees a lot of stuff here that uh, uh, is images of God, images of different biblical stories that he'll, he points out. Um, it's a really cool story behind it all. Really cool, interesting to talk to him, spend a little time here with him.
You see if somebody ever painted down the bottom, you see a big old cloth of gray seed me? Yeah. Look at that cross damage. If you can't see him, we'll take a picture. He'll keep on and come that real clear. Look at that big office. You see that cross damage in it? Look at this wave with, with a little bit of anger on his face. Yeah. You see it real good. Okay, look at your camera too. And if you dial him up, you see him perfect. Because if you keep dialing him too far, it's not even ours. Oh, yeah. It's just something. Now, that ain't there. You can climb up there. You can take a ladder. Climb up there. Ain't nothing there. Huh. That eliminates me carbonate. Look where the sun has come up. Right over here. It looks like carbonate. It is red behind these heads, boy. See, I have to have nails and I put stuff in there. He you don't, know, he's like that. Yeah. You don't want to know about it. I'm going to put it right here. Somebody, somebody got up here and wrote some bad words. I covered the real bad words. I think I'm around everything. Yeah. Nothing happened in eight months. I think he left before he could demonstrate his prayers. I don't know who it was. Yeah. Look what he says. We have pictures that are probably available. How clear is that? Oh, wow. See, that's just very fine. This is places real. That's in the book. He's got the official things here in the book. And like I said, they may try something, but that should that's mail to me, right? Yeah. And look right here. The state of Tennessee. We sent out federal officials, the university, and other sources, and we agree with their findings with their service. Oh, yeah. Now, here's where your findings will be protected from motion. Don't want to be protected, man. To get out here. Now, here's something Earl has for started donating to the museum. Now, here's one of the Greenback Museum. These are mine over here. So, we're in the Greenback, back across the post office. See, these are mine back there. See, this is over here, over there. And see the dates now. The TV people get around me. They used to be here all the time. I don't know if Bill Landry, Ted Hall. They're good people. People above them. But look at the dates on these papers. It's just something that yeah. should be here today. Okay, let me show you some of the, I'll show you the large picture of the world here. There's just so much stuff here. There's a lot of stuff that, that people have donated and brought him and then, uh, bricks and blocks and stones and uh, i'm sure some of this stuff was garbage at one point in time that he's kind of saved and salvaged to to use to build the castle but a lot of stuff he's painted here too uh warnings about end times and um jesus coming back and stuff like that warnings against satan uh, a lot of stuff that he's got all over the castle all throughout the place here too uh, but then he's got a lot of stuff too just toys that are embedded in the walls and uh, there's a, a place we'll show here in a little while. Uh, it's a, a, a bottle wall, a wall made out of glass bottles. It's really cool looking. Every, every part here is really cool looking. The reason Junior was going to the castle this day was to hang up a few signs about a book that he'd just written. Uh, just put it up on Amazon. So. When we got home, we uh, got on Amazon and found it. It's called What in Another World is Going On at the Greenback Castle. So I ordered it. I actually got it now in hand. Um, started reading it. It's just pretty cool. It's got uh, some, some pictures in it, some colored pictures in it. Uh, a lot of the letters that Junior was showing off there in one of the rooms, they're hanging up here too. And then uh, a lot of the, the kind of story and ideas behind uh, some of the original reasons why he started and then what the castle kind of became as a, a religious symbol for Junior. Here's their names. 
Here's the secretary. Secretary went with him so the world would know. See the ghost? Bet you have mine on him there. got a lot of heavy there. Yeah, I can turn this on. Actually. And you got one picture of the rarest picture in the world here. See? Look at the ghost standing in there. Oh, yeah. Holy ghost. Look what it's carrying. Something pure yellow or something. means that's pure gold. Look at the sun rays coming down. The ground ought to be pure white with all the many sun rays. But it's coming down. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. If you, I ain't not got a camera. I don't really watch the internet without a hundred billion of them. But I ain't got the internet. <laughs> anyway, I got one of Moses here. I've seen better pictures I should have got. You see the staff? Yeah. See the arm? Yeah. See the old man? I have seen a week of county spares on the staff, but he's got one head on his side, he can count them inside. So if you get one like that, keep me a copy of it, because I need to check. I've got a good Nepal roll here. I need to put this in plastic, but you're one man crib. I've got copies of your fingers. Right here's Paul wrote the Bible. He's looking this way. different uh, feelings through here through different places in the castle so you got places like this that are really well lit and bright easy to see in there's some toys around here uh, colorful stuff paintings on the wall and you go from this kind of view to uh, this next room we'll show which is dark creepier place there's real creepy parts here of the uh, the castle too they're equally as cool but uh, just a, a big variety of of, uh, of different kind of rooms here at the castle. Some of the rooms are not finished. Um, I, I'm sure he'll never finish in his mind the castle. Uh, he actually doesn't live here either. He he lives down the street. Uh, it's a dirt road that, that leads up here to the castle. He lives at the other end of the dirt road. There's other homes there along the way too. I think um, from what he said, he owns a lot of them and a lot of them he has owned over the years. And, and I believe he said he's given a lot of that land away. Uh, and then some of the places he still owns and uh, rents out for what he said was uh, really low rent for other people to live in there too but he, he maybe spends a lot of time here at the castle but he doesn't actually live here
here's a glass bottle wall which i mentioned earlier i think it looks real cool all these uh glass bottles just embedded in the concrete i believe he said his son saved these uh or at least most of these glass bottles for him uh, i believe that's what he said but we're gonna head back on around this is the, the side of the castle here we'll head on back up here and uh uh, check out the front again before we head on out of here. You can see every once in a while where somebody's spray painting stuff. Of course, people can't leave well enough alone, but uh, uh, can't get away from from idiots anywhere, I guess. But uh, don't let that take anything away from from the castle here. It's it's an awesome place, one of my favorites. I think I mentioned, but um, worth worth coming to. Uh, glad I got to come this day too, especially got to stop and uh, spend a little time and talk with Junior. That was real cool seeing him, talking to him. And with that, I think that wraps up this adventure for, for Charlie and I. We'll head on back out of here and uh, see what else we can get into.